Hi, I'm David Wimay, and I am the author and illustrator of this book, I Go Quiet. Um, I wanted to thank you all so much for selecting I Go Quiet as part of the East Sussex Library Book Awards for 2020. It's a great honor, and as you might be able to tell, I am not English. I am an American living in New York City. Um, I wanted to mention that last summer in June, I visited East Sussex. I've spent a few days in Brighton, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful city. And I wish more than anything I was there this June, but maybe next. And with that, uh, let's go on to your questions. And I thought they were amazing, amazing questions. So here we go. Did you write the book because you felt like this as a child? I would say no, but a weird no. Because my childhood was very happy. I don't think I was isolated in any real way, except that I did spend a lot of time kind of in my imagination um, in a very good way. I was very creative. Uh, I used to play the piano and draw a lot. And I guess I lived in a bit of an imaginary world, but I think we all do. And I think that's something that we tend to lose as we get older. But it's so important to hang on to that because this book would have never happened if I didn't hang on to that idea of being able to go back into my imagination and back into those imaginary spaces. But no, because I began this book with somebody else in mind, which I'll get to in a little bit. But as I was working on the book, I started to realize it was more and more about me than I ever imagined. And I realized that there were certain aspects of the girl that were not the girl that I had intended, but were a mirroring of certain tendencies that I had, not only when I was a child, but even now as an adult. So it's not a yes or no answer, but that's what I have. This book is dedicated to Gabrielle. Who is she? Gabrielle is the most amazing person I've met in my life. She happens to be my daughter. Gabrielle was the inspiration behind I Go Quiet. She had a difficult childhood dealing with isolation, but she was able to overcome it and climb out of it through books. So her journey was really the basis of this book. Ravens and crows are featured a lot. Why did you decide to use those? So they are the most intelligent of all of the birds. So that was a very clear symbol of intelligence. And secondly, it said that if you do see a crow, it means that you are going to, or are going through, a transformation in your life, and it's an opportunity for great change. So both of those seem like very fitting symbols, and I just like crows. Is she actually in a place, or is she in her mind? I like to leave um, certain choices up to the readers and whether it is in her mind or whether she's actually in a real place, I think should be left to you. I can say that I find certain buildings to mirror certain emotional states. And that was an important thing for me to do with the buildings in I Go Quiet, particularly with the school, which she enters in the beginning. It's just so vast and so overwhelming, and that's how she's feeling. So it is acting as a mirror. And I think by the end of the book, she really is more in a real city, in a real world. 
But if you notice that in the picture which says sometimes I go quiet, it's the same as someone where it says yes, sometimes I go quiet. Except in this picture it is dark and she's walking much more confidently. Is it done in a circular way to show that she's been on a journey? It was important to me in I Go Quiet to have a sense that she was leaving her home in the morning without hope, feeling alone. And then we go through this journey with her and then we return at night and she's changed. I don't think any of us can change that drastically as she did in the book, but we can certainly end up a day feeling a lot more hopeful than we did in the morning if we're feeling sad or down. So that was important that she left one place and then returned to the same place with a different perspective of who she was. The industrialized scene makes us think of the factorium in Wild Spark. Well, it's an honor to be selected along with Vashti. Um, her factorium is um, something that I loved. I love that idea. And um, very, very different from the way I use spaces and technology. But there is a kind of industrial steampunk thing that we both share, for sure. Aren't the latter symbolic or something? I think the ladders are probably the most uh, obvious uses of symbolism. I mean, she's literally climbing out of her darkness and her isolation into the world of books and into the world of light. So um, I don't think there's a lot of hidden meaning there. Um, it was just a great device for me to use to, to convey that. Well, thank you all so much. And as I said before, I wish I were there to meet you all. And um, I hope you enjoyed I Go Quiet as much as I did creating it. And thank you, thank you, thank you.